The faculty and staff at Ancilla College are proud to have helped you through your journey. So at this time, I would like to welcome you to Ancilla College's first virtual commencement for our 53rd graduating class. Congratulations. At this time, please welcome Thomas Hartley, class of 2020, to offer the invocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Loving God, thank you for my fellow Ancilla College graduates. While our campus experience was cut short, you have blessed us during our years with faith, friendships, and skills. Continue to challenge us to make this world a better place because of our Ancilla education. Help us look forward to the next steps, whether it's continuing our education or entering the workplace. Give us courage, make our faith stronger, and may we develop a sense of purpose. Show us how to serve others as we see you in everything we do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We are delighted to be with you today. Not maybe in the way that you envisioned it, but we are here to celebrate with you through our first virtual commencement. These are difficult times in our country and in our world. And so I would like to talk to you for a few minutes about that, about adversity. Adversity in our lives that prompts us to grow and to change. I would like to relate to you a story in my own, from my own life, my own experience. The year is 1986. It is my first year as principal of an elementary school in East St. Louis, Illinois. At that time, the AIDS epidemic was rampant. We lost friends, we lost families to that AIDS epidemic. Families, in order to memorialize, what they would do would be to create a quilt. And the quilt would reflect the life of that person. Thus, across our country, in the 80s, the quilt project was born. And there would be huge displays of these quilts. So I found out that in St. Louis, at a football field, there would be the quilt project display. And visitors would be able to walk through like aisles around these quilts. A couple of things really stood out. First of all, the love from families and friends. But also some sayings, two sayings, that still stayed with me in my life. The first one that I saw a couple of times. When I woke this morning, I did not realize that it would be raining. The second quote, a little more frivolous. Life is uncertain. Eat dessert first. Those sayings and that experience of adversity at that time in our country taught us all kinds of things. It taught us to value individuals. So also for Ancilla College, we have values that we have imprinted on your heart. One of those values, respect and dignity for every individual. We need this at, our, at this time. We need this value. We need this value imprinted in your hearts. Along with the others, simplicity, building community, 
and openness to how the Spirit moves you in your life. Our prayer, and my personal prayer for you, is that this graduation allows you to look back in your life and to realize that the adversity that you experienced through this time changes you, gives you a sense of values and commitment that walks you into the future, to your next degree, to your life, to your family. And we know from the AIDS epidemic that life is very, very different now. There's medications. There's a different life, and there will be too for this pandemic. We will walk into the future knowing that an epidemic, a pandemic, is behind us. However, during this time, we can always go back and revisit sayings, values, experiences that helped us to grow in adversity. So my prayer for you is courage. I pray that as you walk forward in your life, you have the courage to help affect change in our society, in your life, and in your family. We need your leadership. We need your courage. We need your sense that adversity has brought you to a new place. Congratulations. We hold you in our hearts. At this time, I would now like to invite Rebecca Martinez, President of the Student Government, to address the Class of 2020. Rebecca. Good morning. I want to start by thanking President Dvorak, Vice President of Academic Affairs Sam Solomon, faculty, staff, the sisters, families, and other attendees for your support and love for us. I personally want to thank my family, whether bled or not, for their undying love and support and for putting up with me through all of this and for being my biggest cheerleaders. Class of 2020, I say to us, congratulations, we made it. Some of you, it has been two years. Others, it has been more. No matter how long it has been, we did it. We finished the race. It has been filled, hopefully, with many ups and, of course, some downs. Yet, we persevered, and today, we are rewarded for that perseverance. 2020 has been filled with many obstacles. I want to tell you that those obstacles that seemed to defeat us helped us rise. Flipping to online learning mid-semester was not easy for any of us. And more than once, it made me want to give up. I didn't though, and neither did you. Some of us will be leaving here and going out into the world to work. Some of us are going to a four-year college to continue our education, and some of us haven't decided yet. No matter where the future is leading, it is okay, because we don't all walk the same paths. Two years or more sounds like a long time, but it has gone quickly. In many ways, I feel like we just started yesterday. I know when I started five semesters ago, I had big ideas and very laid out plans. I learned quickly, like many times, that life doesn't always go as planned. I plan to keep my head down, get this school thing out of the way, not get very involved, get my degree, and move on. Well, Ancilla and God had different plans for me. One of my high school friends and I met back in December. She told me she could see the strong woman blooming that she knew was in there all the time. Ancilla helped me to bloom. As a non-traditional student, 
I was terrified of studying with students the same age as my oldest child. I quickly found that the fears I had were not age sensitive and that my student peers held many of the fears I had. I want to tell you all that I've learned so much from you. I learned how incredible you are. You have opened my eyes to your creativity, enthusiasm, ambition, thirst for social justice, and love for all humankind. Because of you, I found those things inside myself. I've also learned how much the faculty and staff here at Ancilla love and care about all of us. They are sad that they only have two years for us. I wish we were all together for this ceremony so I could look at you and say thank you. Ancilla has become a part of me. I will carry forever inside my heart. I have formed lifelong bonds that will carry me through my days. Now, Ancilla College Class of 2020, I want to leave you with a few thoughts. This ceremony is called commencement, which means a beginning or a start. This is the beginning of what is to come, not the end of what was. I want to remind you never to stop dreaming and hoping. Dreams have no age limit. Look at me. Langston Hughes once said, hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Lastly, I want to leave you with words from a wise woman who has become very special to me and is unfortunately leaving Aunt Silla this year. Mrs. Marilyn Covey believed in me when I couldn't believe in myself. She gave me words that I will now give you. You get out of something what you put in. God bless you all in wherever the road takes you. Thank you. We are proud to have you as part of the Ancilla alumni family. At this time, I would like to introduce Sam Solomon, Vice President of Academic and Student Affairs, to present the Departmental Honors, the All-State Academic Team Honoree, Scholars of Distinction, and Candidates for Graduation. Sam. Thank you, Dr. Dvorak. It's my pleasure to announce the graduates who have earned Departmental Honors in their respective divisions. These students have shown commitment, growth, and leadership throughout their time at Ancilla College. The Division of Agriculture honors Casey Pugh. The Division of Business honors Jack Guyton. The Division of Criminal Justice, History, Education and Behavioral Science honors Christina Merriman. The Division of Nursing honors Natalie Marsh. The Division of Science, Mathematics and Instructional Technology honors Lindsay Prosky. This year's Phi Theta Kappa's All-State Academic Team honoree is Rebecca Martinez. In addition to departmental honors, we have two students this year who have excelled in the classroom. These students have the privilege of earning the highest GPA while at Ancilla College for the class of 2020. The class of 2020 Scholars of Distinction are awarded to Zwan Tran and Emma Venagoni. Congratulations to all our candidates earning honors. At this time, I will now present the candidates for graduation. 
Dr. Dvorak, it is my honor to present the candidates for the degrees of Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, and Associate of Science in Nursing. These students have completed, or will have completed by August 2020, the prescribed course of study, have passed or will have passed the required examination, and are presented to you for the conferring of the Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, and Associate of Science in Nursing. In accordance with the Charter of Ancilla College, granted by the state of Indiana, and in the authority bestowed upon me by the faculty of Ancilla College and the Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree of Associate of Arts, Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Science, or Associate of Science in Nursing as by the appropriation to each of you, and declare that you are entitled to all the rights, privileges, and amenities pertaining thereunto. Congratulations. For those of you wearing your cap and gown, I invite you now to take your tassel and to move it from the right to the left. Congratulations. I now present the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science, Animal Science. Zachary Debates. Victoria Holland. Macy Marie Irvine. Haley Myers, Samantha Poisel, Casey Pugh. For the Associate of Applied Science and Culinary Arts, Ryan Robbins. For the Associate of Arts and Communication Studies, Katie Bickle, Thomas Gareth Hartley, Christina Renee Merriman, Tu Pham. For the Associate of Science in Agriculture, Natalie Hart. For the Associate of Science in Behavioral Science, Rebecca Ann Martinez. Alexis Noel Robinson. Zwan Tran. Shania Faye Gertie Walters. For the Associate of Science in Business Administration, Benjamin Robert Wayne DeRose. Michael Elliot Ebert. Jorge Calix. Alyssa Griffith. Jack Samuel Guyton. Jayla Claire Meister. Serena Minix, Jacob Mokomer, Alexander Rayovic, Weston Sage, Emma Venagoni. For the Associate of Science in Criminal Justice, Deja Faust. Kiara Hairston, Lena Michelle Hernandez, Karen Mendoza, 
Nicole Sharp, Sierra Angelique Simone Spearman, Garrett Charles Tharp. For the Associate of Science in Education, Joseph G. Kuby. Brianna Michelle Gibbons. Charlotte Morris. Allison Nicole Tharp. Brooklyn Thomas. Chelsea Van Lu. For the Associate of Science in General Studies, Talia Taj B. Cooper Chase Crowell. Cameron Duckin. James L. Fights. Tiana Jackson. Michelle Lynn Law. Bailey R. McIntyre. Alexandros Priftis. Emily Catherine Richard. Eric Vasquez. Eric F. Zalea. For the Associate of Science in Science, Lindsay R. Prosky. For the Associate of Science in Sports Management, Josh Elsendor. Andrew J. Ayers. Carl A. Martinez. For the Associate of Science in Nursing, Donna Anthony, Lauren Ashley Awald, Crystal Bass, Matisha Bates, Gordana Boganovich. Jacqueline Borowski, Shakola J. Bratcher, Candace Buford, Venetia Cole, Sarah Elizabeth Kraft, Sarah Louise Doyle. Edwana D. Fuller. Stephanie Garaby Veya. Tatiana L. Gearing. Kiana Grant. Sherry Jean Hostetler. Aaron Elizabeth Hunt. Henrietta F. Hunt. Sherita Elizabeth Jones. Billy Jean King. Katija Laguerre. Trina Macklin. Chelsea Ann Mann, Natalie Ann Marsh, Erica McCasick, Anna Ireli Moreno Orsonio, Tanya Morrow Tillis. 
Brenda Morton. Samuela Obing. Tosin Ogan Yambo. Emily Rader. Paula Robinson Ritchie. Sophia Roland Giorgio. Bailey Roswarski. Tawana Nikula Sams. Margaret Sapon. Grace Sabella. Miranda Estelle Smith. Kirsty Alley Taylor. Rika Travis. Tanisha Whitehead. Barbara Wilson. Samantha Christine Wojcik. Stephanie N. Wojcik. Brianna Patrice Woods. Lachelle Woods Johnson. Carissa Wright. Keisha Young. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We celebrate with you. And now at this time, I invite Sister Mary Beth Martin to present a message from Campus Ministry, Sister Mary Beth. Hi, I'm Sister Mary Beth with the Campus Ministry Office, and I wanted to extend my congratulations to the Ancilla graduates. I want to thank you also for your presence with us at Ancilla, and thank you for the gifts that you have given us especially the gift of the uniqueness of who you are. And I hope you take some time to reflect about your experience at Ancilla, and especially about this last semester that has been so challenging in so many ways for all of us. One of the things that I am learning through this, this time right now is that I'm not always alone when I think I am and that there are people who care about me and I just need to sometimes ask for help. And I also am learning that when I have a difficult or a painful situation, I, it gives me an opportunity to be in compassion and solidarity with other people. So I hope you remember three things. One, that you are beloved, you are beloved, down to your core, down to your toes. Two, the ripple effect. Our actions ripple out into the world, both positive and negative. So be a positive ripple, be a ripple of love. And three, the serenity prayer. The serenity prayer has helped me many times in many situations, and I think it's a prayer that fits no matter what religious tradition, and even if you don't have a particular religious tradition. It goes like this. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So congratulations and go forth with peace and joy and love. This graduation celebration is coming to a close. We celebrate with you from all the faculty and staff 
and we want to give you a message as much as we talk about how we have imprinted our values of Ancilla on your hearts, you too have imprinted the person of you on our hearts. We will remember you. From all of us, the board, faculty and staff, from everyone who has had a role in your education, we celebrate with you. Congratulations. And now, I invite Garrett Tharp, class of 2020, to give the final benediction. Garrett. Hello, my name is Garrett Tharp, and I want to thank Ancilla College and all the administration for allowing me the honor of delivering this benediction speech. Please join me in the final blessing to close this unique and wonderful ceremony. Dear Lord, we thank you for blessing all who were involved in helping us find this safe and alternative commencement ceremony. We want to thank you for all that you are doing to help keep us and our loved ones to stay safe and healthy. God bless the families, friends, faculty, staff, and students who are unable to join together as one today physically. Allow us to bond together spiritually through you today in celebration and also in our future as we go down this unknown path fighting COVID-19. Thank you, Lord, for helping our class of 2020 throughout our time here at Ancilla and also the guidance you are going to give each and every one of us as we embark on our future journeys. Many of us, including myself, did not know how this semester was going to end, but we put our trust in you and you brought us here to the end. With this end brings many new beginnings to us graduates and many new emotions are rising. Some of us are excited, others might be scared, and some might already be confident in their own path. But regardless of what we are feeling right now, we all stand by you, God, and know that we can conquer anything with you by our side. Thank you and amen. Congratulations, class of 2020, and good luck with all your future endeavors. Congratulations and blessings to the class of 2020. All of our 2020 graduates, especially to my culinary class, good luck on your future. God bless, God speed. Congratulations, class of 2020. You guys are the best. Congratulations, Ancilla, class of 2020. May your journey ahead be blessed. I'm very proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm very proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations to all of our graduates this year at Ancilla College. Go Chargers. Congratulations, graduates. Glad to have you here, and I hope you're the best in your life. Congratulations, graduates. I'm so proud of you. You guys are amazing, and I know you're going to do great things. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're so excited for you. Go Chargers! Congratulations, class of 2020. We're so proud of you, and we're really going to miss you. Congratulations, Congratulations graduates, graduates, and the very, very best, best to you. Congratulations, Ancilla graduates. Sister Mary Beth here from Campus Ministry, sending you a blessing. Abraham Lincoln said, things come to those who wait, but only by what is left behind by those who hustle. You have persevered through some tough times, and this will make you stronger. Now hustle and leave a positive imprint on the earth because you were here. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. Good luck in the future. Wish we could see you in person. Hope to see you soon. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it! Yay! Congratulations to the class of 2020. Good luck in all you do. Congratulations, you did it. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good job, graduates. Congratulations to the 2020 graduates of Ancilla College. Congratulations, Ancilla class of 2020. Shoot for the moon, and if you miss, you'll still land among the stars. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. You did a wonderful job. We're so proud of you. Keep being amazing. Congratulations, grads. You did it. Yay! Congratulations, Ancilla College, class of 2020. Congratulations, 2020 nursing grads, and good luck in the future. Hi, this is Dr. Buchanan. I just wanted to show the world that I do own a tie. Uh, congratulations to the class of 2020. We're all very proud of you. Good luck. You rock, class of 2020. Go, grads! You did it. 
You're rock stars, congratulations.